First, on the American health front, millions of men and women have vein disease, with problems ranging from unsightly spider veins to large protruding and painful varicose veins and even venostasis ulcers. Medical director Dr. Mark Raymond of Beach City's Vein and Laser Center tells us about the minimally invasive treatments they provide for treating varicose veins and spider veins. The risk factors for varicose veins include heredity, a standing occupation, gender, females get it uh, slightly more commonly than males, uh, age, the older you get, the more likely it is to get varicose veins, multiple pregnancies, obesity, and trauma. The symptoms of varicose veins may be none whatsoever to aching, throbbing, or cramping pain, swelling, leg heaviness, uh, restlessness, difficulty ambulating, or just itching and burning. When a patient comes into the office, the first thing you want to do is look at their legs and figure out if they have a problem that needs to be studied further. And if we're going to study it, by far the best way to do it is with a good diagnostic duplex ultrasound. There are a wide range of treatment options available, and based upon the results of the ultrasound, we may lay out a series of options for the patient, including radiofrequency ablation, mechanical pharmaceutical ablation, endovenous laser ablation, ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy, and microphlebectomies. Sclerotherapy is the gold standard for the treatment of spider veins, and it involves injection of the veins with a chemical that allows the veins to close. To effectively treat varicose veins, you first have to address the root of the problem. And the root of the problem usually starts at the top of the thigh or right behind the knee. And there's usually a vein below the skin surface that needs to be closed. And the way that you close that is by putting a little bit of numbing medicine in the skin, making a tiny incision, and passing a tube inside the vein that is about two millimeters in diameter. We pass the tube up to the top of the problematic area. And through that tube, one can use either a radio frequency catheter or a little laser fiber to effectively heat the vein as you pull the device out of the vein. The heating actually causes the vein to close. I think that you have to have a lot of confidence in your doctor and you have to feel comfortable with your doctor. Um, but I felt very confident from the moment I walked in this office. Beach City's vein and laser. Love your legs again and get back to the life you love with a vein specialist you can trust.